We'll be covering a coding interview question taken from geeksforgeeks.org. So given an unsorted array of positive integers, find a subarray of continuous numbers such that this array adds up to a sum of n. Otherwise, return an empty array. So before we go about doing that, let's have a quick review of what arrays are in Python. So arrays in general is just a list of numbers or letters, which is represented by a variable, and then you equate it to a square bracket. So in this case, this is an empty array. We can print arrays like this. So now you can see that there's nothing within this array. We can fill this with numbers, letters, or a combination of both. So here's an example of a number array. As you can see, we can print 1 to 5. And then an example of a letter array would be A, B, C. And a combination would just simply be A, B, C for 5. Each element of an array can be denoted by its index position within the array. So for example, A would be in the first position, which is actually zero. We can denote this using square brackets zero. We should be printing A. And then you can print B using the index of one, so on and so forth. It's not very intuitive at first, but you will get used to it. So this area actually goes from zero to four. If you put five here, it will give you an error out of bounds. So there's a couple of functions that you need to know about before we start coding. The first thing is array.append, which simply adds another item to the array to the end. So if you want to add x to the array, we can see that x is now added onto the last part of the array. You can also add y. The other command that you should know about is pop. You pass in the index number into pop to tell it which item to remove. So in this case, we can remove A. We can remove the first element here. So A is gone. And if we keep popping zero, because B became the new zero, since A is gone, we will get C here. Or you can just pop something in the middle, like 2, which should be C. Oops, 3. Right, C. And one final thing to know would be the sum of the array. If you have an array with just numbers, you can actually print out its sum like this. 1 plus 2 plus 3 is equal to 6. So with all those in mind, we're now ready to think about this coding interview question. So let's go over a quick strategy of how we can attack this problem. So first we should loop through the array item by item. And then we keep track of the running total sum. However, if we exceed the given sum, then we start removing items that we added on to the, the running subarray. And we stop removing until we are once again less than or equal to the given sum. Now if we find that we are actually equal to the given sum, then we just return that subarray right away. If we don't find anything, then we just return an empty subarray. So with that in mind, let's start coding. So first we create an array of any random unsorted number. So we go four, zero, six, five, two, nine, something like that. And then we create a function, get sub array sum. 
which takes in an array and it also takes in a sum. Let's call that S. And it returns a subarray. Let's create an empty array called result. Now we need to iterate through the array, so let's create a for loop. X in range of the length of the array. Keep in mind in a for loop, it goes from zero to this number, minus one. So it will go from zero to five. Now for every item that we iterate, we will add it on to our result, which we use the append for. Append array of index x. So now we have to keep track of the sum of the running total. So we create an if statement. If the sum of result, which is array, is equal to the given sum s, then immediately we return that array. Otherwise, we return something empty. So let's so let's print out the results. Let's take in array, and the other parameter would be a sum. Let's say let's say ten. It should return four zero six. So it looks like it works, but this is incomplete. Let's say we want to find the subarray for 652, which is 13. Let's see if we can find that using this current implementation. So the reason why it can't find it is because we missed a step, which is the removal of items once the array exceeds the given sum. So for that, we can use a while loop. So the condition we'll give the while loop is while the sum of the resulting array, the running sum, is greater than s, we want to start popping the earliest entries of that subarray. So if we're looking for 13 here, we have 4, 0, 6, 10. And then once we hit this, it becomes 15. Without this while loop, we're going to keep continuing and we're never going to hit this condition. But now with this in place, we can actually start popping the earliest numbers that we added in. So once we have 15, we can pop 4. Now we have 11. We break out of this loop because we are 11 is not greater than 13. But once we get to here, this should be fulfilled. 0652, that works because zero is a non-issue. So maybe we can change this to something else. Let's see if that changes anything. Yep. So now the zero, which became an eight, made it too big. It popped it from the running total. So it looks like we have something that works here. But let's say we want to create 6529, which is 11, 13, 22. 6529. Um, we can add more numbers here, perhaps a 7. We can try something like 18. It looks like there's already an 18 here. Maybe we can change this to a 19. 865, there's already a 19 there. So this does look like it's working. Let's try another combination just to fully test out our program. So perhaps we can try 13, try to get 742. Okay, it looks like we're, it looks like our program is smarter than I am. 15, nine and six. Let's try to get a seven single number. So seven works. Yeah, it looks like this program works. Um, leave a comment below if you have a better way of coding this, a more efficient way. I believe this is not the best way since I used Pythonic functions to actually solve it. 
So some people might not be too pleased with this solution. Uh, leave a comment below if you want to see any other coding exercises that you want shown. And that should be it for now. And thanks for watching. Until next time.